HIV. Tonight, there's a sense of panic in a Missouri community outside St. Louis because a man told police he may have exposed 300 people to HIV. His name is David Lee Magnum. He was arrested last month after his former partner tested positive for the virus. Our front tonight, legal analyst Paul Callen. Now, Paul, in Missouri, if he knowingly exposed someone to HIV, he can get 15 years. Now, yes. it turns out his partner actually, or former partner actually got it, and they're assuming from him. Um, I'm shocked by the sentence. It would seem to me if you knowingly expose someone to HIV, you are knowingly willing them to die. You know, when I heard you were shocked, I thought you were shocked because it was such a severe sentence, but in fact, you're shocked the because opposite. you think lock them up and throw away the key, but give them life. But here's the problem yeah, with these okay. cases, okay? This is a disease we're talking about, and it happens to be the only disease that we're punishing under the criminal law like it's murder. And there are a lot of people out there saying we should treat this like a disease and not like a gun or a weapon, which is how Missouri is treating HIV. So, and you're saying, for example, if you infect someone with syphilis or something else, which also can be catastrophic and Killed can kill Henry people, VIII, didn't it? Yes. I mean, even okay. though there is treatment for it, like there is now for, for some right. people with HIV, um, that there is no no sentence for well, that. There is in the sense that you can always be charged with reckless conduct okay. that hurts another person. That's always been the standard that we've had. If you knowingly infected somebody else with syphilis trying to hurt them, that's criminal and you could right. be prosecuted for that. But with AIDS and with HIV, we changed the rules because people got panicky about it because of its deadly nature and its incurable nature. And we've really made it into the functional and equivalent of attempted murder. Bottom line, though, he said he didn't disclose his HIV status because of fear of je rejection. I say you're darn right, fear of rejection. How is that a defense? Well, it's not a defense. It's not a defense yeah. at all. He's got better defenses, I think. But later mm -hmm. on, he'll, he may say his partner uh, got it from somebody else. Who knows what he'll say at the time of trial. But uh, that's not a good defense for him. All right, everyone let us know what you think. 15 years.